All right, so just a quick one for you guys today, but I do want to give my thoughts on the third-person perspective mode for the main game and just the third-person mode as a whole throughout Village and its DLC. If you missed it yesterday, I did do a stream last night where I went through the entire main game in the third-person mode, and it was a lot of fun. It definitely did feel quite refreshing, um, and in a way, it does feel kind of new. So I'll give my overall thoughts with it uh, now and just point out a couple of things. But other than that, let's go to it. So it's a short one, so enjoy. So positivity wise, you know, it feels very much like the two free remakes, you know, it feels really good, it feels solid, um, it's quite smooth as well. Uh, there are moments where you can sometimes get a bit, kind of, not stuck, but because of how the camera works um, in certain areas of the game, because it's quite tight, it does feel a bit awkward. But other than that, uh, I didn't really notice that much of an issue with it. Um, one thing I've noticed it's really cool with the third person mode is they have added extra animations to certain interactions, like levers and doors and stuff like that. Stuff you don't usually see from the first person perspective which is really cool um, to see in the game. Obviously it goes without saying you can't see Ethan's face if you've played the demo or if you've played third person, or third person already you'll know that he kind of moves away from the camera when you turn it and that is the same thing with Chris which is funny but I guess it's just because of um, you know how the camera works in the main game that it would do the same thing for him although we all know what Chris looks like. Now if you're anything like me and you play Village a lot you'll probably take a little bit of time to get used to it um, when I first started playing it especially in that opening sequence in the village it was a bit jarring at first because of how many enemies were coming at me and kind of the, the new perspective and how to shoot when to shoot and stuff like that it did feel quite new so it is a bit of a it's not difficult obviously but you need to get used to it again uh, when you play it moments like this as well where it doesn't look like you're actually safe uh, when you are also kind of feel weird in third person but um, that's a very small complaint but Obviously, it's probably because the game was built in first person, so obviously with third person being there, it's going to feel a little bit weird, but nothing nothing breaks, nothing goes wrong, it's just something to get used to straight out of the gate. But with that out of the way, I do want to say that going forward, I did mention this briefly in the stream um, last night, I, I did say that you know going forward, because of the reception of the first person mode, I think, I think for the most part, people did enjoy the first person perspective, but people do have problems with it. Whether that is you just don't like it or the motion sickness uh, aspect of it, it is a good system and I do want to see it kind of remain in some way. Uh, but at the same time, third person feels very classic um, and it does fit the game quite well. So I would always kind of hope that with the future games and you know RE9 more specifically, uh, give people the option you know to switch between first and third. It clearly works, it's good for horror, people enjoy it, um, so give people the option to play it in whichever mode they prefer. Obviously with 4 coming out, I would probably safely say that's going to be in third person only but with any future releases more so re9 uh, have that permanent camera option straight out the gate because that is a really good um, extra feature for people but other than that that's pretty much all i've got to say about it it's not a big thing it is literally just a perspective shift but again it does take some getting used to it does feel quite good and there are some little extra animations in there so if you are eagle-eyed you'll probably spot them um, one thing i will say though quickly though i completely forgot to mention speed running and this might just be me playing the game because I've played with Village quite a lot, but with the extra animations in place in the third person mode, I actually think it's naturally a slower run. That could be wrong, but it's just something I've noticed. But that is basically going to do it with my third person thoughts. It's very fun. I'll probably play through the game every so often again in third person. But as I mentioned in stream last night, I am slowly getting to the very end of everything I want to do in Village. Uh, this coming week, I'll be going more into the DLC, talking spoilers, doing more runs of it, and just kind of finishing up with that. Once that's done, I'm going to finish my Village of Shadows new game run and get the video out for that, which I'm hoping will be done by the end of the month. Um, but after that point, pretty much done with Village. Like, I've done everything there is to do. Um, so maybe I'll do like a little closing out for Village video after everything's out. But um, yeah, third person more is very fun. If you haven't played it yet, go and do that. Um, if you have, let me know your thoughts on it down below and let me know your thoughts of the whole package as a whole. Um, I really do think the Winter's Expansion was a great addition to the game. Mercenaries is so much fun. Uh, third person is a nice addition and the Rose DLC is incredible. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy and remember to subscribe for more Resident Evil content. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.